Now we're going to talk about Foley catheters. So we have an in and out catheter like this, and also an indwelling catheter like so. So Kat, explain to us what an in and out catheter is. So an in and out catheter is just going to be for a patient who's got a little urinary retention that you expect to resolve easily, or if you just need a specimen and your patient's not able to give you one. Now, it's important to know that these kits can vary somewhat, but it's going to tell you on the package what all is in there. And it actually is packaged in a way that you have the things that you need first on top. So what we're going to do next is just get our patient ready. Um, so we're going to tell her what's going on. We're going to expose only what we need to. And we're going to get her legs ready. The other thing is, many hospitals now require two nurses to be at bedside in order to um, place a catheter because cauti rates are so high. Uh, catheter associated urinary tract infections. Mm. So we're going to get her set up. One of the biggest things is having the bed raised and having the patient level so that you're not leaning over and hurting your back. And if you have a really difficult placement, you can actually put something under their buttocks to raise um, the urethra and meatus so that you can actually access them better. And everybody does this a little bit differently, but honestly, as long as you're maintaining sterile technique, there's lots of different ways that you could do this. So some people will fold this at the end of the bed to use that for their trash can. I happen to have the trash can right here so that it's going to be easy for me to just drop things in. Now, once I start to open this, it's going to be real important for me to keep in mind what's clean and what's sterile. Okay. Now, this one has just a little Pericare uh, kit in it. And most of the newer packages do come with this. If your package doesn't have this, you can also just use a washcloth to clean your patient with. And then this is just a simple waterproof pad. Now, I only need clean gloves for this. Um, this is a, basically a dirty procedure. And it's just to wipe away anything that I'm worried about. Um, if they if the patient had feces first, then you would have wiped that away before you even get to this part. And because this is clean, I can just continue to fold it as I need to in order to make sure that everything is clean. Now and in the future, the meatal opening is the part that I really need to get the cleanest, okay? So you can clean out the outside, but that's not the important part. It's mm -hmm. really the inside. You never want to insert infection or introduce bacteria into that urethra. That's huge. Now I'm going to take off my gloves and a lot of kits will have um, something right here for you to be able to do hand hygiene since you've done basically a dirty procedure first. Um, so ideally you'll have some hand hygiene here, whether it's your alcohol, whether you need to step away before you open your kit and wash your hands. But ideally you just have some hand sanitizer right here. All right. So I'm going to open this kit, and the outside edges, of course, are things that you can touch. The inside edges aren't. And every kit could be packaged a little bit differently. Now what you'll see here is that they've actually put the gloves on this side. And then here's that hand sanitizer I was talking about with the gloves, OK? So I'm going to set my gloves down. And one of the things is uh, always, especially in nursing school, always have an extra pair of sterile gloves because you never know when you're going to break sterile field. And Especially for a Foley catheter, oh. you really have to have a pair of gloves. And if you've got somebody helping you, they should have a pair of sterile gloves too. You can always put them back if you don't use them. Never want to walk away from your sterile kit open. You always want to make sure you have eyeballs on that thing. Now, I'm sterile and this is sterile. So I can do anything that I want to in this space except reach over the top. Okay, so I can't just lean into it, but I can touch any of this that I want to, okay? Now I'm going to take a minute and look at my kit, because the patient's not going anywhere, okay? So I'm going to take a minute and look and see what I have. So this catheter is covered up, and I can go ahead and take that cover off. Thanks for watching. For our full video and new quiz bank, click right up here to access your free trial. And please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Last but not least, a big thanks to our team of experts helping us make these great videos. All right, guys, see you next time.